There's a lot of handheld in this film. There, there are no sets. It's all location yeah. work. Um, if, if you look at the actors, they're not, they're not beautiful people. You can, you can see the pock marks in their faces in a lot of cases. They're not, not wearing a lot of makeup. That all comes from your background in, in documentary work. However, there's also the addition of things that bring attention to the camera, like reverse zooms, POV tracking shots. Um, and you called this once induced documentary mm -hmm. style. Yeah. If you could explain that. Well, you know, if I had made a few documentary films before I did any feature films, and when you do a documentary, you go out and follow people who are in various walks of life. They're doing their own thing, and you don't know what they're going to do or say. You follow them around with a camera. Pretty much like uh, 60 Minutes does. Um, and that's the kind of documentaries I made, but with more movement and following people in their work. And when I got to The French Connection, it was my uh, fourth film, I think, I realized that I could take that technique and use it as a style for this film. In other words, I could make it look like a documentary, even though it was not. A lot of that style that we did in The French Connection, you see it on television to this day and in movies where, and the way I did it was I would literally rehearse a scene with the actors without the camera crew in the room. I would tell the director of photography who does the lighting, I'd say, well, they're going to be roughly in this area over here and roughly. So what do you mean roughly? I said, we might go here. He might, I don't know what they're Just let's light the set from here to there. And uh, so, and then the camera operator was a guy named Ricky Bravo, who had photographed the Cuban Revolution at Castro's side. He was, he was in the mountains with Castro when they came down and took Havana, and he was a great documentary cameraman. And so I used to say to him, he, he had a very thick Hispanic accent, and I used to, I'd say, Ricky, don't stop the camera no matter what happens. Okay, okay, chief. I said, you know, don't stop. Just keep going. And very often we would do a scene like that where he had no rehearsal. He just had to follow the people as best he could. And at the end of a take, I would say to him, so how was it, Ricky? And he'd say, it was all completely blocked. I couldn't see anything. I said, why don't you tell me? He said, you told me not to stop. <laughs> but that, that's how we filmed it. The, the cameraman didn't know often where the actors were going to go. That's induced documentary.